the most mysterious phenomena, the rarest facts, the most exciting ideas, the most amazing people. And all this awaits you at the Fact Box channel. Stay with us, like, and subscribe. A lot of interesting things lie ahead. Their music captivated the whole world. Their talents are admired, and their significance and contribution to the development of electric music is indisputable. They pack the coolest clubs and huge stadiums. Today on Facts and Box, we present you with six of the most iconic DJs in the world. David Guetta During his career, the French musician and producer collaborated with such known acts as the Black Eyed Peas, LMFAO, Flo Rida, and also repeatedly worked with Rihanna, Madonna, Snoop Dogg, Kellis, Sia, Nicki Minaj, Akon, Lil Wayne, Teo Cruz, and Chris Willis. David began to show his inclination to music at the age of 14, organizing school discos, and at the age of 17, he began to work in the nightclub Broad. In 1990, David Guetta, along with colleague Sidney Duty, released the album Nation Rap. And after a couple of years, the DJ made friends with the legendary Robert Owens. The product of this collaboration was the song Up and Away. The song instantly gained popularity in the country, and the musician began working in the new French house style. Soon, he opened his own nightclub in Paris called Le Bon Bouche. David's concerts have been attended by John Galliani, Calvin Klein, Roger Sanchez, and others. At this point, Chris Willis, the lead singer of Nashville, came into David's life. For two days, Guetta and Willis came up with the song Just a Little More Love. In 2001, the single conquered all European charts and also became the summer anthem in Club Ibiza. In 2002, the debut album Just a Little More Love was released. It sold a quarter of a million copies. In 2003, the album F Me I'm Famous was recorded. The album was produced in Ibiza. The name was taken from a popular party series local to the area. Guetta's popularity grew, and the album sold millions of copies throughout Europe. In 2005, Guetta received a Grammy nomination for a remix of the song Deep Dish. In addition to the Grammy, David was crowned DJ of the Year at the House Music Awards. In October of 2011, David led the international ranking of DJ Magazine. For several consecutive years, critics have called David the master of remixes. He doesn't sweat the ratings too much, and is relatively calm about fame since music has become his calling. Some of the best David Guetta singles are Love Is Gone, The World Is Mine, and Who's That Chick? In 2016, David was honored to write an anthem for the European Football Championship. Tiesto According to Forbes magazine, the Dutch DJ Tiesto earns about $25 million a year. He's also the ambassador of the international philanthropic organization Dance for Life, which supports AIDS and HIV research and treatment. Tiesto began his career as a hardcore producer and was known by the name The Joker DJ Limited. In 2002, the DJ participated in a tour organized by Moby throughout the United States and performed along with David Bowie and Busta Rhymes. In 2004, the man was awarded the Netherlands Order of the Orange Nassau, which is a lot like being knighted. In 2005, Tiesto was immortalized. A wax figure of him behind a turntable is on display in Madame Tassoud's museum. A little earlier, the organizing committee of the Olympic Games of Greece invited Tiesto to perform at the opening of the Athletes' Parade. Among the DJ's musical achievements are two Grammy nominations. In 2015, the Dutchman received a well-deserved award in the category Best Remix. Throughout his career, the musician has released six studio albums. The DJ leads an active life and collaborates with brands. Tiesto managed to work with Coca-Cola and wrote two tracks with Searching and Global Harmony. Together with Reebok, the DJ released a limited edition sneaker. A total of 1,000 pairs were sold in the world, and the Elements of Life album and bonus disc were included with the shoes. Tiesto didn't forget about Armani. Exclusive t-shirts are available at the stores of this famous fashion brand. The DJ also owns a Chinese restaurant with dance music and live performances called The Mansion. Some of Tiesto's most popular tracks are 
Secrets, The Only Way is Up, and Adagio for Strings, Pete Tong. Pete Tong is rightfully considered the godfather of house music. One can safely say that his biography is one of modern dance music in general. Tong began his musical career at the age of 15 at school parties. A passion for music and considerable self-study helped Pete find an interesting job at the magazine Blues and Soul. Meanwhile, he worked in nightclubs, recruiting interesting new groups for them. In the mid-80s, he became a popularizer of the then almost unknown Chicago house and Detroit techno in Britain. In the summer of 1986, along with his friend Nicky Holloway, Tong set out on the Spanish island of Ibiza, marking the beginning of a tradition that is still alive. Using his connections in show business, Tong turned the house movement from a marginal stream into a wealth of millions. In 1988, Tong founded his own label, FRR, using his talent to find promising newcomers. He was the producer of All Saints, and it was he who selected the musicians for the soundtrack of the famous film The Beach, with Leonardo DiCaprio in the main role. At 31, Pete Tong unveiled his essential selection show to an audience of 17 million on the radio. The resounding success of this undertaking turned out to be long term, as the show lives on to this day. Tong knows why. He always has a delicate sense of time and foresees a surge of interest in any kind of dance music. The godfather of dance music is more than 40 years old, but his work does not leave one indifferent, even very young people. Thanks to him, the whole world recognized Trevor Fung, Fergie, Paul Oakenfold, Josh Gabriel, and other original DJs. Avicii Avicii was considered one of the best DJs in the world. Unfortunately, he died in 2018. Tim Bergling, who had not yet worn the sonic pseudonym Avicii, began his musical career at the age of 16 and the first steps of the young Swede was the publication of his own remixes on online electronic music forums. It was these online publications that brought him his first contract with a record company. Later, Avicii, who earned at least 20 million a year, was a welcome guest at prestigious world disco clubs and a person with whom Madonna, Lenny Kravitz, Tiesto, and others fruitfully collaborated with. Alongside his colleague David Guetta, Tim Bergling was nominated for a Grammy in 2012 for the track Sunshine in the category of Best Dance Record. A year later, a similar situation had come about. Levels became an international hit, having managed to rise to the top of the charts not only in the world, but also for the first time in his native country, Sweden. The composition secured Tim Bergling's place in the top three in the ranking of DJ Magazine. The title track of the 2014 Brazilian football tournament was Darum Gieto, with Avicii among the authors and performers. Avicii's most popular music video, Wake Me Up, has been watched over 1.5 billion times. This composition is completely unusual in terms of music, combining such different styles as soul, country, folk, and in fact, electronic music. There are five studio albums in the musician's discography, the last being Stories in 2015, which received praise from critical publications such as All Music and Billboard. Paul Van Dyke This German musician and producer is one of the world's leading trance DJs. His debut as a DJ took place in 1991 at the Berlin club Tresser. Taking the pseudonym Paul Van Dyke, Matthias began to actively perform at club parties. The popularity of his work grew and led him to become a resident of the E-Work Club in 1993. As a DJ, he continued to combine performances in clubs with his full-time job as a carpenter. In 1994, Van Dyke released his debut album. His record, 45 RPM, was published in Germany and four years later in the UK and the USA. In the track list was the song For an Angel, which became the hallmark of the DJ's career far beyond Germany. In 1995, he performed at one of the festivals in Los Angeles in front of 50,000 concert goers. Seven Ways, the DJ's second album, was cemented in success. Music critics began calling Van Dyke the pioneer of trance music. At the turn of the millennium, the musician terminated his contract with a record company that had released previous albums and founded his own company, Bandit Records. He released his third album, Out There and Back, the compositions on which are marked by a more melodic sound than before. 
Van Dyke's fifth album, In Between, was also successful. Seven musicians were invited to participate in its creation. Jessica Sada from Pussycat Dolls, David Byron from Talking Heads, and others. The DJ was nominated for a Grammy, and DJ Magazine called him the world's number one DJ in 2005 and 2006. The talented DJ has remained in the top 10 since 1998. By 2007, 4.5 million copies of his albums had been sold. 